Hey guys and welcome! Today, as you've seen the title of the video, we're gonna talk about Battlefield 1 being casual again. But this time, a bit different angle to the whole discussion. Because the game's been released two years ago at this point, or almost two years ago, we are fastly approaching the point in time where it will be actually a two-year anniversary, and some people, or I would even go as far as saying that majority of player base, still doesn't get it. Battlefield 1 was designed to be casual. But before we dive into discussing it, let's define the word casual. What do I mean by saying Battlefield 1 is casual? Or Battlefield 1 was designed for casual players. By casual in this discussion, by casual player I mean, I mean a normal player. An average player who wants to play the game for fun and just spend time doing it. I don't mean tryhards such as guys who want to play for high statistics, YouTubers playing the game to capture footage, to make videos, create content around it, streamers, etc, etc, or even competitive players. I don't want to say esports since there is no esport in Battlefield yet, but this might change in Battlefield 5. I just really want you guys to know that the word casual is just describing a normal player playing the game. Some people use it in an insulting way and then some players feel insulted if they hear that they are defined as casuals, which is a completely wrong approach to the whole topic because, again, the word casual means a normal player who's just playing the game for fun. That's 99% of the community and that's what the game is designed for, for players to have fun. Now this is where it gets kind of complicated, because majority of people when saying that Battlefield 1 is casual, they mean that the game is simplified and doesn't really require much skill to play it. And this is true, Battlefield 1 is a lot easier to play than previous Battlefield games. If you compare it to Hardline, it was harder. If you compare it to Battlefield 4, same thing. Same thing even with Battlefield 3. And remember guys. At this point in discussion, it's not about who likes which game. It's about which game is actually easier to play if you compare mechanic to mechanic. And if you do it, Battlefield 1 is just significantly easier. There is not much of a learning curve in the game, all of the mechanics were simplified. Is it good? Well, that really depends. Which type of player are you? Although, I have to admit that, in my not so humble opinion, Battlefield 1 went too far with getting the game easier and easier for the players to get into, that in the end, it just feels empty after playing it for a while and players are leaving because they're not interested in sticking with the game. And this may be represented by those graphs, for example. It's basically the number one thing that killed off Battlefield 1. The game was just too shallow, it had no depth, it felt empty after playing it for a while. I'm going quite off the topic here, right? Yeah, let's get back to the original one. And that being, Battlefield 1 was designed to be casual. And we are two years later, and some people, I would even go as far as saying tons of people in the community, still don't understand it. Battlefield 1 was supposed to be casual. It was supposed to be designed this way, and complaining that something is too easy to use, something is overpowered, something is something doesn't require skill to play with it. Alright, we might waste time doing it, but in the end, it's completely pointless. Because DICE has already seen the feedback, they are creating Battlefield 5, and Battlefield 5 will actually require some more skill to play. But Battlefield 1 is done at this point. The game was supposed to be casual, it came out casual, and it was kept being casual. That means DICE was adding new features, new weapons, new gadgets, all of those were still casual because that's what the game was supposed to be. And now you might ask, but why would they do it? It killed off the game in the end. Well, at the beginning, while creating Battlefield 1, and that started about 4 years ago, DICE, or EA, whoever made the executive decision, didn't really know that it will actually kill off the game. It came out after they released it, so they couldn't predict, I mean, now they can, but before they couldn't, what will happen with the game if they make it so easy. 
They decided to do so because, naturally, if the game is easy to start playing it, more players will get into it. Younger players who are not playing games yet but might start with Battlefield 1, or even older people who weren't really into gaming before but they might have started because they saw BF1. It's completely fine. Believe me, EA is not stupid when it comes to making money. It's the same scenario like with Jake or Logan Paul. You think that those guys are stupid, alright. You might think they are, but in the end they are making millions of dollars profit per month. Now, I'm willing to bet that they are 100% aware of what they are doing and why it is successful. Their content doesn't need a higher meaning. In our case, Battlefield 1 being designed for a skillful gameplay. It doesn't have to because the casual game and if we compare it to Logan slash Jake Paul's content, simple entertainment content, let's call it that, is what is selling. Which means that they are appealing to their audience needs and that's completely fine. They know they are, so why would they not do it? Look at the analogy. If you are 18 or 20, you might think that Jake or Logan Paul are producing stupid content. But that's what you think. Now, you are not their target audience. Their target audience is someone who's 12 to 15, I guess, and those guys appreciate the content when they can see Jake Paul building a trampoline and jumping on it. That's the same thing with EA producing Battlefield 1 and making it casual. Why would they produce a game that requires tons of skill and hundreds of hours of learning how to play the game if they can make something easy to get into and get tons of players to do it? Why do you guys think that both EA and Paul Brothers are still on top and everyone is talking about them or everyone is buying and playing their games even though they've done so many weird things? Because both of them see demand for something and they are supplying it. That's really that simple. EA saw an open window for designing a beautiful World War I game with great graphics and great sounds while making it easy and accessible for everyone, while Paul Brothers are, well, they're doing all sorts of stuff, I don't really want to talk about them in the video, but you get the analogy. Both of them are getting so much backlash towards them and yet they are still on top, because they know what they're doing. I know that all of this might be a very obvious thing, especially to those of you guys who are experienced or maybe not even experienced but interested in how markets, supply, demand and businesses work. I mean, that's practically the approach we are taking in this video. Talking about game from a business standpoint and that's how you analyze it pretty much. And I know that there is tons of players out there, even including me, who don't really like what Battlefield 1 turned out to be when it comes to the gameplay and how the game actually plays out, but realistically, DICE wasn't able to redesign the whole game after they released it. Some of the core mechanics, they can't redesign everything. One update or two updates, those can improve the game or destroy the game in some cases, we've seen that happen too, but there generally is some sort of a limit in how much DICE can actually do after they release the game and what they can change within the updates. Remember guys that designing Battlefield 1 took around 2 years, give or take, I suppose even longer, so if they were to redesign the whole game from the scratch after they released it and it turned out to be, well, not what we expected, it would take the same amount of time, so that's basically called Battlefield 5 at this point. Anyway guys, that would be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this quick rundown of why Battlefield 1 is designed to be casual and all of that stuff and as always, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe and I see you on the Battlefield!